Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how to install encoder board on QS motors, but first let me explain what it's for. Encoder board is also made to be fitting into Sauron Light B motor with slight modification. In general you can install this board on any motor that have axle in center. If you have whole sensor motor, by changing to encoder motor you will have up to 30% better start torque from zero speed and less current ripple at high speed. This is because whole sensors are very discreet and don't have enough accuracy at the start. This is the board itself. Now it is shipped with unsoldered connectors, so you could choose to solder it or solder wires directly to the board in case if your height is limited. Please note that current version of the board is made for 5 volt power supply. If you have 12 volt, you should add a voltage regulator. For this installation you will need hex wrenches, impact screwdriver and the soldering iron with some basic soldering skills. First of all, remove 6 screws from the cover. Usually this cover is glued to the motor, so you will need to hook it up with any sharp tool to open. Unscrew whole sensor board. Unplug connector. And remove this board. Now you need impact screwdriver to remove the central screw. This screw have a thread glue, so unscrewing it manually can be very difficult. You can try heating up screw with a torch to remove it. Extract magnets. When you have whole magnet ring removed, clean up axle. First apply some glue to fix encoder magnet on top of central axle. Put encoder magnet on axle. You can use a rubber hammer to put magnet in place. Now you need to combine board and spacer. Before putting board make sure you have soldered connector or wires to it. Use two original screws to fix encoder board in place. First put two screws in, then tighten them. Board installation is finished. If your motor have temperature sensor, you can solder it to these contacts. If you don't have a temperature sensor, I strongly recommend to buy sensor and install it on top of the winding. You can glue sensor with a heat conductive glue or with a silicon glue. Right side of the board goes to controller. Depending on how much wires you have going into motor, you may need to add one or two wires for temperature sensor or PVM signal. Best option would be to replace whole signal cable that goes into motor. Another option is to order this encoder receptacle if you have matching 8-bit connector on controller side or GVPF connector with wires and solder them to the wires that comes with encoder. Don't look at the wires color, they might be different. You need to match encoder pins to controller side based on their names. Also, if you want to save one wire, you can connect temperature sensor minus to ground on the board, but sensor will be affected by current consumption of the board and wires resistance. After you have finished wiring, test motor with controller. If everything works correctly, then you can assemble sensor cover back. First apply silicon glue on this area and then screw the cover back. Wipe off extra glue around the cover. This is the end of the guide. I hope this video was helpful. Subscribe, hit like button and check links in the description.